Today we take a look at the Work Pro Large Viewing Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. Okay, that looks pretty nice. You have instructions. There we go. So you can see we got all the controls here on the left side. So we got our darkness right here. So this is going to be how dark you want it. Usually a good idea to set it all the way up and then bring it down as you need it. Here we got grind, cut, and weld. So if you want to be welding, you can keep it on weld. And what's nice about this is you don't actually have to lift your helmet off. You're going to be going from welding to grinding. You can just take this thing, slide it down, and then you're still going to be able to grind. And if there's any sparks, it's not going to set this thing to maximum darkness. You're still going to be able to see what you're doing. So all you need to do is move this switch up and down. You don't actually have to take the helmet off. Here we got the lay. We got fast and slow. So this is not from light to dark, this is from dark to light. So what that means is, as soon as you're done welding, if you want that thing to go back to bright, you can put it on fast. But if you know that you're gonna be skipping around, so you're gonna be welding here, then you're gonna be welding here, you're gonna be lifting up, so it's gonna be going dark, light, dark, light, dark. You can put that thing to slow, and that way it'll just stay dark the whole time, and you don't have to worry about that thing flashing and driving you crazy. And then this dial is the sensitivity. We got a nice cushion strap, so I like seeing that. Ratcheting adjustment. So right here on the bottom, we got these two clips, and that is gonna be how we can release it to pop that out. I like to see we got a test button right here so we can make sure the thing is working before we start welding. So this cover is removable. So if you ever need to replace that, it is a nice, easy thing to do. But I also like to see we got these clips here on the side. So what that's going to allow us to do is we can put a cheetah lens in there. So if we want to zoom in on what we're going to be welding, we can actually do that with those. So very nice that they got that. Now, another thing I like to see is we actually got these solar cells on the top and on the bottom. So no matter how you got your head oriented, this thing is still going to properly activate while you're welding. We got nice coverage all the way around. So yeah, I'm going to take this thing to the shop. I'm going to see how it works. So the biggest thing I could say about this thing is just how easy it is to actually see through it. Like I could see everything. I could see much better than I can with some of those old masks that I was using. This is much closer to using one of those glasses that don't actually transition. Like you can really see all the details in that, but also with having the actual transitioning lens on, it means I can see what I'm doing when I need to stick the stick down. And when it transitions, I'm not getting any flashes or anything like that. This is just a great mask. And I love that big viewing window. So yeah, I'm very happy with that.